after watching this video, I would like for you, the audience, to let me know who you think Joe Biden is truly going to vote for. And these are my top three reasons why I think Joe Biden is voting for Donna J. Trump. Whoa, what's good with it? It's your boy Triple Cup Chuck and I'm up. And TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only. I ain't never think that I'd be one to say that, but I would like the audience to know that I'm here to stay. Okay, the first thing that got me going down this rabbit hole is the statement that Donald Trump made. And after the statement, the expressions on Kamala's face was priceless because I'm a firm believer in the truth is simple and action speaks louder than words. So with that being said, this is where this rabbit hole started from. Check this clip out. And this weak, pathetic man that you saw at a debate just a few months ago, that if he weren't in that debate, he'd be running instead of her. She got no votes. He got 14 million votes. What you did, you talk about a threat to democracy. He got 14 million votes and they threw him out of office. And you know what? I'll give you a little secret. He hates her. He can't stand her. Mr. But he President. got 14 million votes. They threw him out. She got zero votes. And when she ran, she was the first one to leave because she failed. Number one, let's not forget about how Joe Biden put on a Make America Great Again hat. First sign. To instantly show merit to his claim, Joe Biden did this. Presidential hat. Presidential seal on it. You're an autographer? Oh, sure, I'll autograph it. Huh? Yeah. You remember your name? I don't remember my name. I'm slow. You're an old fart. You're an old fart. Yeah, I know, man. I'm an old guy. <laughs> and you're an old fart. Uh, I know you would know about that. What? About being old. Oh, I know. All right. I'm a young timer. Huh? <laughs> he reminds me of the guys I grew up with. There's always one in the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to go to him one. There you go, man. Got, I, need, I need that hat. You want my autograph? Hell no. <laughs> you know my name. Come on. I ain't going that far. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Number two, how Joe Biden went on The View to let everybody know that he got pushed out of the White House. And yes, out of watch House of Cards. If you've seen House of Cards, you understand how the interacting working of everything happens behind the scenes where you could know how to read in between the lines. Now, with that being said, watch this here, what he did on The View. This is my number two reason why I believe that Joe Biden is going to secretly vote for Donald J. Trump. Well, Mr. President... We all agree at this table is very selfless of you to pass the baton and step mm -hmm. aside. Uh, there was a perception that perhaps your hand was forced and some pointed fingers to Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who you have a long relationship with and accomplished many things with. D did you feel that your hand was forced and what is your relationship with Speaker Pelosi now? My relationship is fine. Look, <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> I never fully believed the assertions that somehow there was this overwhelming reluctance of my running again. Mm -hmm. I didn't sense that. Mm -hmm. And although the polling, they said Biden's polling was different, the fact of the matter is my polling was about, you know, we're always within range of beating this guy. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, I, what I did was, I think there were, I, I, it makes sense. There were some folks who would like to see me step aside so they have a chance to, to move on. I, I get that. that, that's just human nature. But that wasn't the reason that I, I stepped down. Hey, Mr. President, do you think having stayed in the race, would you have won? Yes. Yeah. I, 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 I was confident mm -hmm. I, I, I would beat Trump. Listen, He's I didn't a loser. like the way they did it. I'm going to just say it out yeah. loud because nobody says it out loud. I didn't like the way it was done publicly. I thought they yeah. could have done this in a different way because we didn't need to hear all the inner fighting. I didn't like it. I'm saying it to you. I, you were my ride or die. I was going where, wherever you were going, that's what I was doing. So I just wanted to say that because I always felt you were going to probably do four years and then try to figure out where to go with Kamala. Then he just wouldn't go. He was like a, a, a bug. 
He just kept being there. He was like a, like a bug right there. So you felt... <laughs> Boom! And number three, the genius move he did at the press conference to uh, rip Kamala Shine away from her. It was... Magnificent. Now, you know that Joe Biden is a lifetime politician. He know how to boom punch you where it hurt at. When y'all messing with Joe Biden, oh, he had something up his sleeve. He know how to get you back. And if you don't believe me, watch the stuff he said. And when they asked him, is he coming back? He <laughs> let people know like, yeah, I really was pushed out of this film. And those are the three reasons why I believe that Joe Biden is going to be secretly voting for Donna J. Trump. Leave your comments. Let me know down below. There have obviously been a number of crises that the country has been facing over the past several days with the hurricane, with the port strike, with the situation in the Middle East. Can you talk about how your vice president, who is running for the presidency, has worked on these uh, crises and what role she has played over the past several days? Well, she's, I'm in constant contact with her. She's aware we're, we're, all, we're singing from the same song sheet. We, uh, she helped pass the, all the laws that are being employed now. She was a major player in everything we've done including passage of the legislation which we were told we could never pass. And so she's been, uh, and her, her staff is interlocked with mine in terms of all the things we're doing. Day of prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting this Monday, October 7th. Your reaction, sir. I will prayer and fast. Is that acceptable to you in terms of Israel's response? How long are you okay with Israel bombing Lebanon? What is acceptable to you? All right, guys, that's it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Do you want to reconsider dropping out of the race? I'm back in.